Hello again, I'm Matthew Gore from TheWetPen.com, and for the past couple of years, I've been a big fan of Cosmo Air Light Paper for fountain pens. I've mostly been buying these Cosmo Note notebooks, which are filled with 83 GSM paper, and they fit nicely into my leather Midori cover. And as it's been getting more common, I've also been buying it in other notebooks, like this gorgeous one from Pebble Stationery with a Liberty London fabric cover. The paper in here is a little lighter. It's 75 GSM, which is the same weight that you'd get if you bought the paper loose in A4 or A5 size. But as many of you know, I love bright blue inks, and I've always thought that they look best on pure white paper. And Cosmo Air Light is more of a warm, yellowy white, so I was really overjoyed when I finally ran across this. Cosmo Air Snow. That name doesn't leave a lot to the imagination. The paper feels and behaves exactly like Cosmo Air Light, but it's a neutral, snowy white instead. So this is just going to be a quick video to show everyone that it really does exist, and I'll show some basics of how it performs. This is the color of Cosmo Air Snow compared to HP Premium 32 printer paper and Clairefontaine Triumph. You can see that while the Cosmo is white, it's not bright white. It doesn't have all of the brighteners in it that standard bright white papers have in them. And it doesn't fluoresce under UV light either. And that's a good thing if you ever feel like writing with an invisible ink on it. I think it was a post on Reddit where I first saw Cosmo Air Snow mentioned, and I immediately started searching for it. First, I found the loose paper in A4 and A5 sizes at Jet Pens. Those are $19.50 and $11 per 100 sheets, respectively. And like the Cosmo Air Lite, it's 75 GSM, and it only seems to be available blank at Jet Pens. But I also recently got a passport-sized traveler's notebook, which I've been obsessing over for the past couple of months, and I found the Etsy seller Paper Penguin Company, selling traveler's sized notebooks made with Cosmo Air Snow. And they're available blank or with lines or dots or grids. I didn't know what to expect from this penguin outfit, so I bought two blanks and two ruled, and they're really well made. I'm a big fan now, and I'll probably end up buying a bunch more. I'll put a link down below if you wanna check them out. Again, this is not sponsored by these Antarctic avian paper peddlers, just my own opinion here. Anyway, let's take a look at how these papers behave with some different inks. First of all, and really the reason I bought this paper to begin with, let's see how they look with some blue and turquoise inks. Here are some writing samples with a few inks on Cosmo Air Light. That's Pen BBS 512 at the top, Pannonia Bellaton Blue underneath it, then Stipula Deep Blue, and finally Robert Oster Havasu Falls at the bottom. And here we have the same thing on Cosmo Air Snow. I'll admit that it's not a huge difference, but to me at least, it is significant. Both of them do a great job of showing off the shading of these inks too. Let's take a closer look. The Pen BBS ink looks a lot more vibrant and blue on the white paper, I think. Actually, it looks nice on both. This Pannonia ink is pretty pale, so the paper color contributes more to the color, and it looks a lot more green on the Cosmoware light. Here's the Stipula, and again, a difference in vibrance, I'd say. And Havasu Falls. For me, it's a toss-up whether this ink looks better on the light or the snow. It's really wonderful on both, but the difference, at least, is obvious to me. And everyone who tries this paper immediately recognizes that it feels very smooth, but it also has a soft surface. It feels almost like it wraps around your nib a little bit, so you always get great contact with the paper, and sometimes your line will be a little wider than it would be on harder papers, and you'll feel a little drag instead of a glassy smoothness. Some people don't like the soft surface, but I really do. 
Let me show you how Cosmo handles feathering and bleed through compared to some other papers. I have a couple of Noodler's inks that I always turn to when I test papers for feathering. One is Monkey Hanger, and this is Britannia's Blue Waves, which feathers so badly on most papers that I've never actually inked a pen with it. Here it is on Cosmo Air Snow, with a glass pen. It looks like a pretty normal blue ink. Now here it is on Tomoe River 68 GSM, and you can see that there's just a hint of feathering, but it's more than on the Cosmo. And if you're familiar with Graffilo, this one might shock you a little bit. Graffilo is a good paper, but, well, this speaks for itself. Here it is on Rhodia, which is a good fountain pen friendly paper for normal use, but this ink does soak in and spread a fair amount. And finally, this is Yamamoto Bank Paper. I just got this and I don't know much about it, so I thought I'd give it a try. Come on now, focus. That's better. And this paper does pretty well. There's a little feathering, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's a lot like Tomoe River, I think. So you've just seen how all of these papers handle feathering. Now let's take a look at the other side of each of them and see how much of the ink bled through. So in reverse order here, here's the bank paper. Not too bad. A couple of pinpricks of ink came through, but mostly we're just seeing a bit of ghosting. Now here's the Rhodia, and as you can see, quite a bit has bled through. Here's the Tomoe River, which didn't feather much, but did actually bleed through a bit here and there. Oh, I skipped the Graffilo, here it is. It feathered a lot, but didn't really bleed through at all, so that's impressive. And finally, here's the Cosmo Air Snow. Not bad. No bleed through here, and even a little less ghosting, I think. Okay, and finally, I'm just going to do some ink swatches on a few of these papers, just to show you how they handle sheen. Going to start here with the Cosmo Air Snow and some Tomoe River. And for inks, I'll start with Birmingham Jade Inferno, then Birmingham Voltaic Arc, then Diamine Holly. I'm using some lower sheening inks here, since these are both high sheening papers. But it looks like I could have used some higher sheening inks. Where I've got sheen, there's a little more on the Cosmo. Now, this is Clairefontaine Triumph and Cosmo Air Snow, and the inks are NASA Blue, Organics Studio Santiago C, and Dominant Industry Base Black. This NASA Blue usually sheens quite a bit, but it didn't sheen much on either of these, maybe not enough ink. But Santiago C did, and it's much more shiny on the Cosmo. And the same thing is true for base black. It's got all of this awesome gold sheen. And finally, this is Midori. This is Backpacker Inc.'s Athens, followed by a Pure Pens exclusive ink called People's Charter, and then Diamine Maureen from Cult Pens. And I think that I actually like the sheen on the Midori paper better this time. I like how that reddish pink sheen feathers out and makes all sorts of purplish colors. And yes, the same thing for the other two inks. We also see one of the downsides of Cosmo papers here, which is that they pick up the oils from my fingers pretty quickly, and I end up with little ink-resistant spots on the paper sometimes. And I think I'll leave it at that this time. If you found this interesting or helpful, well, you know what to do. And of course, if you have any questions or suggestions for videos, just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you back here next time. Enjoy your pens and inks out there, everyone, and don't forget to actually use them.